Our top local story tonight, a Cranston man charged with DUI after police say he struck a college student while driving drunk. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where it happened on Narragansett Boulevard, right near the Johnson & Wales Harborside campus, where the victim attends school. New tonight, we are learning more about the suspected drunk driver and his ties to Johnson & Wales University. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live from Cranston now with what she has learned. Kim. Jared, that Johnson & Wales University student is recovering after being hit by an alleged drunk driver. And tonight we've learned that driver is a Johnson & Wales graduate himself. Police say 45-year-old Eric Churchill was behind the wheel when he struck and seriously hurt a 25-year-old man early Saturday morning on Narragansett Boulevard. The victim is an international student studying at Johnson & Wales University. And according to an Instagram post by a Johnson & Wales alumni account, Churchill graduated from the school in 1993. Police say the 25-year-old victim was left bloodied and unconscious just steps from the entrance of the school's Harborside campus. It was less than a mile from Churchill's home. Uh, upon arrival, uh, officers found a male victim on scene. The operator of the, uh, the other vehicle did stay on scene. Sergeant Ryan Shore says Churchill appeared drunk. Officers uh, detected signs of intoxication when they had uh, interviewed the operator of the vehicle. Um, he submitted to a series of standardized field sobriety testing, which he failed. He refused a breathalyzer, but police say they obtained a warrant to draw his blood to determine his blood alcohol content at the time. Now Churchill faces a charge of driving while under the influence of alcohol, resulting in serious bodily injury. He also faces a charge for refusing to submit to a chemical test. Police say they're also investigating whether poor lighting or speed contributed to the crash. It's also unclear if the victim was in a crosswalk at the time. And Churchill was arraigned this morning and released on $20,000 surety bail. The victim remains hospitalized and at last check was listed in fair condition. Reporting live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.